When you link Revit projects to other Revit projects, it's a bit like using an AutoCAD external reference or XREF. I'm in the 3D view at the moment, and if I go and select the linked project, it's all one object. Now that's great. As a component and a group of columns and beams, I might want to move all of that as a group, mirror it, rotate it, and so on, to work with the design that I'm building. But I also might want to copy and monitor certain elements to my hosted Revit project. So let's have a look at that now. If I go to level one now in the structural plans here, I'm going to zoom in. Now you'll notice where I had the Revit project that was brought into the host project obviously selected, it's still selected here in the structural plan view like so. I'm just going to hit escape there and deselect it for the moment. Now you'll notice, look, if I hover, click, it highlights. So any object within that particular link project, if I click on it, it highlights the whole thing. I can't edit anything individually. So what I need to do is copy and monitor. That's on the collaborate tab here on the ribbon, as you can see. And I need to copy and monitor here, but I want to zoom in a little bit further first. See there's grids A and B there. I'm going to look at these four columns here. OK, so I'm going to go to copy monitor and select the link. Now, as soon as I hover over any of these columns, it will show me the link. Can you see that? There's the link there because that's part of the linked project. So as soon as I click, it goes into the copy and monitor on the ribbon. I select copy and I select multiple and I select the objects I want to copy into my host project. So if I do this and select the objects I want to bring in, like that, can you see it's selecting them individually? I have to hold down control and add them to my selection set, remember? So make sure you select all four columns. That's all I'm going to bring through. I could bring through grids, walls, floors, especially if I'm bringing in a Revit architecture model, for example. Now they're selected. So I click on finish, and then what I do is I go to copy monitor again here and make sure that I also click on finish. So that's done. Now, what do you notice? All of a sudden, it looks like we've got columns on top of each other. Well, we do because they're monitored. If I go and click on that now, I get that funny little monitor symbol right there. Can you see? It tells me that it's monitored. And you'll see there that I've got a structural column now that's an 838 in size. Now, that's not what we had originally, is it? So what I'm going to show you in the next video is how to edit those particular options in your monitoring and copying when you're linking Revit projects together.